I could see, for example, we'll talk about your motors in a minute. I could see that 750 uh, or uh, 1500 watt motor being kind of a nice application in a uh, you know in a, in a tuk tuk uh, you know type of uh, type of vehicle, as well as you know um, motor scooters and motorbikes and things like that. Yeah, I mean India, India is actually a very funny market. It is it is a very complex market. Yeah. And we don't sell in India today for several reasons. It's it's a uh, India is a market where uh, people are not afraid to spend money. This they, they spend a lot of money on foreign brands, right? Uh, the uh, products which sell really well there are products like you know from uh, Honda, you know motorcycles, right. uh, Toyota cars. So people really give a lot of uh, value to reliability. Right. Okay. And and they have to be cost effective. Yeah. And uh, people are shy to get on bicycles or scooters. So if and, you're a status, oh, it's a it, basically it's a status thing. If I'm riding a bicycle or a motor scooter, that reflects my poverty rather than my concern for the environment and my frugality. <laughs> yes, yes. So people normally you have got uh, a young generation. They will jump from college to motorcycle and from a motorcycle to a car. Yeah. So so. Uh, there is a bicycle culture which is evolving, and and that is the you know bicycle culture which is you know similar to what we have here in the West. Right. Is that uh, people are using bicycle for recreation? Uh, uh, so people are uh, people who use bicycle for daily use. Yes, I mean they they are you know you're talking about fifty sixty dollar bicycle being used. So uh, our evaluation is that uh, Indian market. Although there is a strong push by Indian government for electric vehicles, is not ready for electric vehicles. Yeah. Okay. So that means you're focusing on Europe. You're focusing on on the United States. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's it's you know so our focus is really uh, we uh, very much focused in electric bicycle space. Okay. And and we don't want to look anywhere else. You okay. know we are passionate about electric bicycle space. We want to really make huge contributions in the electric bicycle space. Okay. So let's talk about some of the, the, the product you've got. I, uh, you know, you came up with uh, what stimulated this, of course, was the press release that you had that you're offering now a five-year warranty on, on the motors. So let's talk about your product line. What is it that, that you're, uh, you have now you're offering the bicycle industry? Yeah. So, you know, we, we essentially, uh, you know, one of the, uh, things we are able to do and nobody else is able to do in the market is that we can really pack a very high power density and torque density in a hub motor with the electronics inside. Okay. And people and 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 uh, uh, no company, you know, whether it's in Germany or or Canada or China, is able to do that today. Okay. And so we we are successful in being able to do that, and we're also successful in being able to. And these, these motors have been tested quite extensively. You know, we have been doing the testing for the last uh, three years. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and so they have, we, we, we haven't had any field failures, uh, which are related, you know, uh, it, so, 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 uh, so we are very happy where we are okay. with respect to the technology. So we have, you know, pushed that envelope. We are delivering up to... 1500 watts of power in our uh, biggest motor, which is you know seven and a half kilograms. So we start from three and a half kilograms, we go all the way up to seven and a half kilograms, and 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 it's it's a it's it's a great uh, you know at least uh, I love motors. Yeah. <laughs> so so it makes it it really. Uh, you know, makes me feel good that you know I would like like to be able to offer lifetime warranty on our motors, right? You know, at some point of time, because uh, we believe that you know everything is inside the motor, and with our manufacturing, uh, uh, with our manufacturing techniques, and our design techniques, you know, when when the when the motor leaves our factory, uh, we don't, you know, we, we expect the motor to last a lifetime. Yeah. Now the mo the factory is located. I assume in India. Where where is it located in India? So we are uh, we are in the heart of uh, the automotive city, Pune. Okay. 
uh, we are very south close to of uh, Mumbai. Yes, it would be, uh, you know, it's about, uh, uh, I would say, 180, 200 kilometers from Mumbai. Right. Uh, it's about three and a half hour drive from Mumbai. Okay. And, uh, and we have got, it's a very good uh, location. We have got uh, Tata, Mahindra. We have got uh, BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen all around, you all know, around that, that area. Right. Yeah, good. Okay. So it's, it's a good, good infrastructure. Uh, and uh, good, uh, uh, you know, we were able to do all the parts locally within, you know, within 10, 20 kilometers. We have got the whole supply chain set up. Okay. So, so you're offering, I think, if I remember correctly, you read a, you've got a 250 watt, which is the low end. Uh, and that would be typically what you would equip a, a European bike with. Yes. And then you've got, what's the gradients up to the 1500 watt? So we, we are able to offer 250, 350, 500, 750, 1,000, and 1,500. Okay. And I assume that obviously the package size gets bigger. The 250 is obviously smaller than the 1,500 and so on. Yeah. So we have three platforms today. Okay. Uh, we have got uh, what we call a four and a half kilogram uh, platform, a six kilogram platform, and a seven and a half kilogram platform. Okay. So four and a half kilogram platform, we push up to 500 watts. Uh, six kilogram platform, you push up to 750 watt. Okay. And and the seven and a half kilogram, you push up to 1500 watts. Okay. How would you compare, for example, let's take the, because I, that would give me some frame of reference. How would you compare size and weight, mass, whatever you want to describe, of your 750 watt motor compared to the wave crest motor that that's outside and, you know, it's about yay big and, you know, Probably weighs, uh, I'm guessing, somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, 15 to 20 pounds at least. Yes. So we are half the size. Okay. Uh, we we had uh, so the first motor, you know, again, uh, this is this is, uh, uh, I think at that time we had no clue what really we were doing. You know, we were just making a motor for the fun of making a motor. So right. the first motor was about uh, uh, 11 kilograms. Okay. About uh, uh, which, uh, so it's, it's more than a little 50, over 30, I think, uh, almost 30 pounds. Yeah, 11 kilograms, you're talking 23, 24 pounds. Yeah, 25, yeah, something like that. And then when we did the motor in uh, at electric motion systems, E plus electric bike, we had brought the weight down to eight, about eight and a half kilograms. Okay. Um, and then uh, with the five phase, we are down to six kilograms. Okay. So that is, uh, uh, that is, and then I think uh, we want to go further in the weight reduction. Uh, we are looking at, uh, you know, next generation to be much lighter than this. Uh, we have got some exciting uh, R&D going on in this field. Okay. We continue to uh, reduce the weight of uh, hub motor substantially and, uh, and make, make it, you know, uh, uh, more, more power and less weight. Yeah. Well, let, let me ask you a technical question here, because as you may be aware, of course, I'm I'm launching a, an e-bike enterprise called yes. Peddler, and maybe we can chat about that a little bit later. Um, but I'm curious as to I, I I had a poll that I've been running on the e-Peddler website asking people about things they would like in an e-bike and that type of thing, and I'm curious as you know you've got essentially three configurations. You've got a large you've got a hub motor in the rear, which is I think the example of one of the, the photo in the press release you sent me, there's the mid-motor design, which is sort of Panasonic, the Bosch design. Uh, and then you've got also then the front hub. But I'm curious, your view, which of those is more efficient use of energy? Or does it make any difference? I've been well, told it, it, that it, one is actually better than the other. I'd like your, your view. Well, it, it makes a huge difference. See, the motors... Being delivered by Bosch and Panasonic, uh, to me, are very inefficient and and very. Uh, it, it appeals to people. You know, it, it, it's really bringing back uh, the internal combustion engine. You might as well put a large, I mean, a small internal combustion engine in the bicycle <laughs> and run it with a chain. Right. Yeah, so, okay. so it is, it is, it is uh, to me, uh, you know, it, it is an absolute insanity to be able to use bottom bracket systems on a bicycle because okay. now you have got a chain driven propulsion system. Right. Essentially, you have a scooter. You are 
you, you, you are uh, saying, well, you know, now uh, the only difference is that when I pedal, when I pedal, I get assistance because right. now your chain is able to move, right. right? But the sad part is anytime you have to have a propulsion system, you have an assistance, your chain has to move, and you are limited by the cadence of your legs. Right. Right. It's great for, you know, it's great for stump jumping. You know, okay, I can have very light <laughs> wheels, right? I can have very light wheels and I have got the weight configured in the middle. Right. It's like, well, might as well have a tiny internal combustion engine if, if that's what. We are getting away from true bicycle experience. Okay. We are getting into more of chain-driven, then it becomes chain-driven motorcycles, right? Oh, okay. It is. And I don't think that is bringing a true bicycle experience into the world. Okay. So then between the front hub and the rear hub, what are your choices? Well, I think the, the, the uh, so, so uh, I would prefer front hub if I am doing city driving. Okay. Again, it's a riding experience. I'm doing a slow speed driving that I would prefer a front hub. But the, the limitation is that the front hub uh, uh, choices, uh, again, it depends on the riding experience, you know, front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. Okay. Right. So, so in my opinion, uh, I think uh, uh, rear wheel drive always feels better. But again, it, it's a matter of preference. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So, so you've you've got. I guess the the, the other question is, is is obviously the the 250 watt motor is is what you're sort of restricted to uh, in Europe. Although I think there are opportunities there to go to 350 for peak and that type of thing. Um, and there's some debate about actually changing that, particularly in areas that are mountainous like Switzerland. Um, and then here in the United States, you're limited to 750 watts federally, but in California, you could technically have a 1,000 a watts um, bicycle. Right. right. And I'm going to have to, there we go, cancel that. I'll talk, I'll talk to him later. Um, I hope he doesn't mind. One minute. So, so you've got, you know, you can legally in California, you can go up to a thousand watts. But I'm wondering where does the fifteen hundred watt? I guess that could almost be what are called a fast e-bike or an off-road bike application. I assume. Yeah. So, uh, in in Europe, it is a nominal two hundred and fifty watt power. Right. So if 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 uh, so so it is very well regulated. The regulations are pretty clear. On being able to deliver 250 watt, it's a nominal 250 watt power from the motor. Right. Right, and and it's very clearly defined in the U.S. It is uh, less. Uh, it is less evident uh, what exactly it's meant by 750 watt. Right. Okay. So it's more of so you could debate it is continuous or it is peak. Okay. Right. It it just states one horsepower. Right. And and uh, so uh, there is uh, there is room for confusion. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, uh, when we had done, uh, you know, so we have been interpreting to be on the safe side to be uh, 750 watt peak power delivery in 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 the U.S. Okay. Right. Uh, on the uh, and and continue 750 watt obviously will become a monster in terms of uh, you know you, you could then really have a fairly fairly large uh, you know uh, power delivery fairly size good size motor. Um, so the 750 watt uh, peak rating uh, allows you fairly safe riding in in on the U.S. roads, right? Thousand watt you can do in California and you require a license plate to be able to do that, right? Yeah. Now. Uh, the, the 1500 watt, we have it mainly for our OEM customers to be able to apply on something which is in between a bicycle and a, and a, and a scooter. Okay. So something would, more like a moped then. Yes. Right. Yes. And, and something which would require a license right. uh, to be able to do it. So that's, that's where we are headed with that. We okay. want to be able to push the... Uh, the extend the bicycle uh, circle, you know, the electric bicycle envelope boundary uh, to because the 1500 watt we think is is a very good application, uh, neighborhood application, or you know, as you said, a moped application where uh, you you know again when you begin to add uh, batteries to it, things become quite heavy, quite right. fast. Right.